I just thank God for one more chance. Thank God for what he is. What he's doing and what he's going to do. I can't do nothing unless he does it. All I can do is get up here and offer, and it's up to him what he does. And I just thank God for just the opportunity to even be in his presence. I'm going to, I'm going to say this, Steve, but now I'll try to get into this. I got to quit offering excuses. Amen. I've offered God up the excuse, Cindy. I'm too old. I'm old. I, I can't remember like I used to. I can't, I can't, I can't. I never could. It was always Him. But I got to quit offering excuses about why this ain't done. Why that ain't happening? Why ain't this coming? Why ain't this? Why ain't this? It ain't God. God is always ready, waiting on me. Amen. Amen. And the thing is with God, he's a spirit. And you ain't going to get nothing out of him through the cardinal mind. You could just kiss that goodbye. Because he ain't got, it's not subject to the law of God and indeed can be. And he won't even deal with it. Amen. And the thing that I know that for sure it will please God is faith believing in God. It is, the word says, it is impossible to please God without faith. So if I got faith in it, then I can please God. But I got to quit offering up excuses. I'm going to read here in the book of Luke 14, but uh, God is still, he is so, I thank him for this day. And I wish him the greatest Father Day in the ever been. Because Eddie, he is the greatest father a man ever knew. He knows how to raise his children. He won't spoil you. Amen. He won't ruin you. When he makes you right, he's got you right. Amen. And I just thank him for the chance to do something, say something, or do something for his glory. Amen. Now, we're going to be in the book of Luke here, and it's something a big, Jesus is, uh, is talking about a, the supper. He's, and it, it's, it goes basically with the same, almost the same scripture in Matthew 22, verses 1. But in that one, it's talking about a marriage. And people making excuses. I hope I get, I'm saying this word when I read this. Luke 14, 16. Then said he unto unto him a certain man made a, a, a certain man made a great supper and bid many and sent his servants at supper time and to say to them that were bidden come for all things are now ready and they all which one I help me with these words began to make what's that what ex, excuse Excuse, am I reading that right? See, when I, you ain't got much education, you got to go, you know. Let me get back here. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must need go to and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have bought a five yoke of oxen, oxen and I go to prove, prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I will not come. So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servants, Go out quickly into the streets and to the, uh, the lanes of the city, and bring in the halt, the pole, and the maim, and the 
the hall, my, my, my eyesight people, and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done. It is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is more, there is room. And the Lord said unto the servants, Go out into the highways and hedges, into the highways and the hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be full. For I say unto you that none of these men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. That's rough. See, I got to quit making excuses, Eddie. I can't. I'm too old. I ain't got enough energy to get up. I, God, give it on to these younger men. Oh, help me, Lord. But see, I got to get up and do it, whatever God says do when it's due to be done. In his time, his way, and whatever he says. Quit making excuses. Now, we're going to get into something with the help and grace of God. What's come, what? Faith is what, Jenny? The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Oh, my God. What is faith? It's something that'll fight and won't quit. Amen. Determined. Determined to get it done. Determined to see something that it doesn't see and watch it come to pass. Amen. That's faith. And what works faith? Love. I can't have faith without love. They work hand in hand. Oh, I won't help me, Lord. Thank you, Father. See, sometimes it had been our lack of oxygen. You remember the four things God said that we could have? If you do one of them, the other three will come. You can't get the one without the uh, If you get the one, the other three will be right there with you. But how do I get that? Uh, with the help and grace of God, we're fixing to tell you. Faith is something, honey, that is, it, it's like a bulldog. It won't quit. When it locks on, it won't quit until it sees it done. But that love for God, Amen. that love for God Amen. will get you hungry for something. For him. It will convince you. It wants you to, how did you, help me, Lord. The love that God has, Steve, look at, look at your life. What is it now? You want more. When you get in love with God, you get hungry. You get thirsty for the things of God. And I got to say it, that vine has took out a lot of the love of God in a lot of people, even me. But there ain't but one way to get it back. Faith is how you're going to get it back with the love of God. Oh, help me, Lord. Jen, read, if you don't care, I'll get you, which mic, honey. Read Luke, this, in Luke 17, and Jesus explains to you how to get your faith. Luke 17, 5, honey, and just read all what he says there. You can read better than I can. And the apostles said unto the Lord, increase our faith. And the Lord said, if ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say unto this sycamore tree, be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, or... It and it should obey you. But which of you, having a servant plowing a field or feeding cattle, will say unto him by and by, when he has come from the field, go and sit down to meat? And will not rather say unto him, make ready wherewith I may sup and gird thyself and serve me 
till I have eaten and drunken, and afterward thou shalt eat and drink. Doeth he think the servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I trow not. So likewise ye, when ye have done all those things which are commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which it's was our, our duty, duty to, do. to do. What was he saying, Eddie? What our love will do, mixed with faith, if it sees you in trouble, love won't go talk. It'll run to the foot of Calvary and it'll begin to express things to God. It won't quit. It won't quit. Faith won't let it quit. And that love won't let it quit until he sees God move. Amen. Amen. But we've got this microwave religion. I'll pray today and God bankrupt heaven for me. No, he won't. Faith means, Jenny, you just keep moving. You come bless God when you don't feel like coming. You come to the house of God with joy in your heart, ready to move for God, not for you. Amen. Amen. We've got the wrong attitude. We've got, God, you owe me. God don't owe you nothing. He done give the best he had and I can have and he gave me access to the greatest power ever was through Jesus. Amen. But it's up to me to get it. Amen. Amen. Oh, it's running now, baby girl. Amen. <laughs> Faith won't quit. It'll hang in there. As the old saying come, heck or high water, it'll still keep digging, keep pushing, keep digging for God. But this world, the church says, I got faith and sit on its seat and won't move. It's time, Amy, we get back to the old past and get into it where you get at an altar and you start praying, pouring your heart out to God. You won't get up until he does what you've asked. If I go, I go. He's God. He's got it. We won't put the time into God. We'll put work at 40 hours a week. We'll work ourselves to death. But God forbid if I have to pray for a liar. Lord God, don't fast. Don't get on that. Oh, I fast this morning. Hey, yeah. I don't even eat breakfast. So what did I really give up? You think God don't know that? Amen. <laughs> now, the word says, God is no respecter of persons. What he does for one, he will do for all. You believe that? Okay. I gotta sit down, Missy. What was the four things that God said to do that you could have, Nikki? But the one main one I'm gonna get on that He desires to be in Biden's presence. Now, did I hear him say, that's only for those of a hundredfold. The word says 60, 30, 60, and a hundredfold. Well, I'm just 30, so that don't mean to me. Yes. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, well, well, here's the thing devil throw. Well, your calling is deeper than mine. I don't have to do what you do. I'm going to tell you something. 
The Word of God says, I got to love the Lord thy God with all my heart, my soul, my mind, everything. That means, Tina, I got to quit excusing myself for not getting out of an altar of God and desiring to be in His presence instead of asking God, pay my electric bill, do this, do that. You know what I should be doing? Oh, Lord Jesus. Come, please, sit down with me and talk with me. I want to be with you. Amen. Amen. I want to be in your presence, God, just as much as you mind. When you get that way, you're hungry and thirsty for the things of God. You will run to the altar. You will run to get to, to church. You will run, just run and run to be in the presence of God. I'm going to say this and it sounds like I'm boasting. I'm going to be like Paul. What I preached to you last Sunday night, Paul said I glory in tribulations. He knew what he was talking about. I know what I'm fixing to tell you right now. It works. When you will put God first and seek the Lord God with all of your heart and being faithful at it, he will come. He will sit with you, talk with you. He said he... Oh, Father. <coughs> he... He... Oh, help me, Lord, my word. See the devil? I will be... oh, help. I will be consecrated in the name of Jesus. He is a rewarder. Thank you, Father. He is a rewarder. Of them that diligently seek him. What's diligent? Com continually. Not quitting. Not quitting, not giving up because the wind blows this way. Or hold your finger up and see which way the wind blows. Well, I won't go that way. I'll go this way. Like these politicians. But church, when you get to an altar of God, and you first thing should be in your heart and your mind. Lord, come please. Let me sit with you. Let me get in your presence. Let me talk to you, God. Let me see you. Let me hear you. Let me know your will. Open my heart, my mind, and my spirit unto you, God, not the world. And what does he say? He that hungers and thirsts after righteousness shall starve him to death. Well, be filled. Jesus said that my Father knows you have all your needs before you ask. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all these other things shall be added to you. If I go to God for Eddie, I don't have to mention Eddie's name, but I get in the presence of God. God, I desire to be with you, to hear you, to see you. God knows my heart knows what's on it. He'll move ready. But we don't want to put that time in. We want the glory of God, but we don't want to work for it. I know sometimes I look awful. I probably look meaner than my... I don't care. But I know what I'm talking about. I've seen it. I've seen it done. I've seen it in action. When you go to God and you seek him with all of your heart, he will come. Amen. And dead faith is, uh, faith is when I fast for three days this, this week. And I go to God and I tell God that nothing happens. I don't hear nothing. You know what faith does? Next week I'm going to do the same thing. And then, bless God, you look out. First thing God will do for you, if there's anything in your heart that's not right, he will reveal it to you. He will show it to you, to you to get it out. And then he'll go take you deeper and deeper and deeper, show you things, 
speak to you about things fixing to happen, things that's coming. He shows you visions and dreams because why? You are looking through his eyes and hearing with his ears through the spirit of him. But we want the glory of God, but we don't want the work of God. We'll crucify the flesh. I gotta check this for breath. You face, I, 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 what I, I love three days. I was, when I, years ago, I knew my Jesus for three days in the heart of the earth. And I thought, Lord, I'm gonna start praying. And seeking you with faith. Working every day. First week, nothing. Nothing. Second week, about some time in that second week, I'm down praying. I hear Barbie Jean. I hear Amy and Jenny. Daddy, we need you. Come here. Come here. Of course, you know what I done. I got up off my knees and run to the house to see about my babies and my wife. And I've always wondered what God would have thought if I'd have just thought, God, you can do more for them than I can. I'm going to stay here until me and you get it. But you all heard the story. This is what I'm trying to get. When you come, faith, of, and I, I'm telling you, I'm going back. Because if he's done it once, he can do it again. And I've been trying this. I've been seeking the Lord. I've been not trying to glorify sin. I want to glorify God. I'm trying to tell you, you got access to a power like Jesus had when he speaks, he's getting ready to you. If I only do that which is commanded to me, I'm some profitable. But I, with my faith and what Jesus has made, these works he said I do, you shall do even greater. Amen. But you got to get at that altar. You got to find you a place between you and God. Not just here at this church, but out. And talk to him, Eddie. And like I'm trying to sit, I should desire. Is, is that not help me? Now, I ain't a bright, brilliant man. But if God desires to be in my presence, hey, that's sort of like an invitation. I saying, the Almighty's saying, come on, son. Her daughter, I want to be with you. What should I be doing? Amen. Go back to the old ways. People, you can tell me you love God all you want to. But in your works, it proves what you are. It shows, Eddie. When you love God, you'll be long to be with God. You'll start wanting to be in His presence. And when you, when you start what I'm talking about doing, when you start, you'll get so, you just can't wait till that next time you can just get into His presence. To get caught up in this moment of the presence of God. That you don't want to leave it. You want to be with Him. And when those comes, that's when God can say, do this. And you'll say, yes, God. And you won't hesitate. You won't be a guest. And Lord, is this you? Oh, Lord, and what now? You sure that's you, God? Or is that me? You'll know the voice of God. And you'll walk with him and you'll talk with him. That's God's desire from day one. It's to be with you, to be with me, just to be, to get out of this cardinal way of thinking on the and get into that spiritual mind where life and peace is, where God is. 
That's what Jesus, everybody, I, I've said this and I have to ask God to forgive me. I used to say Jesus went and prayed all night long to keep his body under. No. He went so he could be in the presence of his father because he loved him so much. That was his way to get in contact. Not contact, but to, to be in the presence of being with him. Some of y'all, I'm going to say, help me, Lord. Some of y'all need to be endured with power from on high. And the only way you're going to get that is seeking God and hanging on to that faith. Faith will come to church when you said, no, I don't feel like it. Faith will say, read the word, you'll get up and read it. Or faith will say, pray, you'll go pray and you won't quit. It'll work, Jenny. It works. It works. You can try. I'd ask you to try. Try. Go. Now listen to me here. Hear what I'm fixing to say. God knows your heart better than you know it. He's got, he knows every hair in your head. He's got a number. He knows everything about you. He's wanting you to know about him. Amen. And listen to me, please. You can fast for three days and pray all you want to. But if you're going to God for one purpose, to glorify self, you just went on a hunger strike. God ain't going to hear you. Amen. But it's when you go with that heart in love with God and just wanting to be in his presence, to sit down with him. How many of you really got talked to them and said, it to you, come Lord, sit with me, talk with me. He'll come. He'll come. Amen. Will it be in a week? Only God knows that. Two weeks, whatever God. It took three months for me. Don't tell me, I know this works, Steve. I know what it does when you seek the Lord with all your heart, soul, mind, and body. When you pray. And fast, three days a week, week after week after week, and Diane wouldn't even come see me at seven o'clock in the evening because she said he ain't gonna be there. He's out talking to God. That's where I was. He did it once. He can do it again. But see, it's up to Kenneth. Quit making excuses. I'm too old. I can't this, I can't that. God can. Amen. God can, Eddie. And whatever, help me, help me, Lord. Whatever God has told you to do, do it. Run with faith toward it, knowing God chose me to do this specific thing, then I'm going to do it. Come whatever comes, I'm going to be where God says be. And you, God loves faithfulness. I'm catching my breath here. You know. And I thank God that I'm still alive for this day and hour. Because I'm going to tell you something. Some of you are going to get a hold of what we're saying. You're going to start going. You're going to grab that faith. And you're going to start exercising your faith. You ain't going to stand and say, look at me, I can do this. No, you're going to begin to show it. By the, your faith will begin to work with miracles and signs and wonders. Because you're going to get to the throne of God. Where God can hear you. For God's glory, not yours. Not to build you up for anything, but to build up him and to lift up his son Jesus that he can be glorified. We are to be a light in this world. And it's time, bless God, I'm talking about me. We start lighting up this world with God Almighty. Amen. 
But the only way you can do it is through the Spirit. You can't do it carnally minded. You can't, you got to quit thinking as men think and start going to that altar and saying, Lord, open my heart and my mind and my spirit unto you and unto your word. Amen. And desire to be in his presence. Amen. The Holy Ghost without mercy will be there. The faith of Abraham will be there. Amen. The new beginning, new birth will be there. Amen. It all comes when you desire to be in his presence. Amen. <laughs> I offend a lot of people. I don't know if he does. He shouldn't. This should be some good news. You can go to the power, unlimited power, Nikki. Unlimited. What Jesus did gave you the right to the tree of life, to God Almighty. He's given you the manifold wisdom of God. Mike, I think it's in one of them little books, Book of Titus of Judah. He said, the word says, pray ye in the Holy Ghost, building up your most holy faith. How was the last time you sat down and got to praying? That you prayed in tongue. That you prayed in the Holy Ghost. Or is that midnight hour passed by? Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for moving. Praise God. It's time for me to go to bed. It's time we lose some sleep like my Jesus did. If he has to do it, then who am I to say I don't, Jenny? And don't let the devil take the word of God and try to Bind you with it. Oh, I'm just 30 fold. The guy ain't in this, what he's talking about tonight. Oh, I'm in the 60 fold. Oh, my calling ain't as deep as his or, or hers. Your calling is what God's called you. You to love him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. It is God's will. You to be in his presence. Amen. Not my will. <sighs> I thank God, sissy. Oh, yes, I want to go home. And I tell you what, it wouldn't bother me to be. He'd come get me tonight. It wouldn't bother me in the least. I thank him for it. But I have something in, in my spirit. He's reaching to me. And he's saying, watch what I'm fixing to do. You're going to get to see what I'm fixing to do. You're going to get to see what a lot of the old men and women in God wanted to see, but didn't get to see. You're going to get to see it. Amen. That's why I hear it. Things are happening in this world, Miranda. But Lonnie, it doesn't stop God. He is still on that throne. He's still got control. But he's looking for some sons and daughters of God that will come to him and talk to him and desire to be with him, desire to be in his presence. And he will begin to show you things and fix it to happen. He'll begin to show you things and tell you things, what to do for this one, for that one, to say here, go here, to lead, to bring that soul out to him. You know what? God like Paul says it, he said if one comes in and the Spirit of God reveals the secrets of his heart, he'll run to the Lord. God wants to reveal the secrets of the heart through you. But if you ain't tired, he can't. He can't you can't hear him. He can do a thing right under the whole world's nose. And the world look around and never see it. He's standing right there working at it and doing it. I'm trying to hush. But I want his will, not mine. But James, Sonny, things are coming, and I thank God that I'm still here. But that doesn't stop me from wanting to go, sis. It don't, sis. Because what Christ is in this world ain't nothing compared to what it is in that world. But see, he gave me life, and he gave it to me more abundantly. 
but it's through my father that he gave me access to the throne room of God, to get in the presence of God and let God begin to talk to you, show you, mend you, heal you. How many of you? I ain't trying to judge nobody. How many of you seen the angels of God? Come and eat of the supper that my father has. What has the Spirit been saying? Come and dine. Come eat of the things of God. God's Word, God's Spirit, God's presence, and watch what God does. I know it'll work, Steve. I've seen it work. I didn't have nobody. Me and Dean and the one didn't have nobody to tell us what he's saying. You all got somebody. You should be around trying to do it. But see, here's the thing. God made you self-will. That you're going to only get as much of God as you want of God. And when you start getting in the presence of God, I'm sorry, you're going to want more of God. You can't get in his presence. Amen, honey. You want, you want more, you want more, you want more, and you want more. Church, when you walk in here, you should be excited. Why? Because of what the Spirit of God said. He dwells here perpetually. He's here. Well, I don't see it. That don't mean he ain't here. The world can't see him, but he's here. You never seen him when he saved your soul, but he saved your soul. So that doesn't mean he ain't tired. He is what that word says he is. You are what that word says you are. And it's time I get off and quit making excuses. I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, yes, you can. Get off your rear end and come on and do it. And start getting that faith. You got the faith. You've been given a measure. All of you. What did Jim read to you? If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, that's very little. Speak of that sycamore, sycamore, whatever you say, pluck it up by the roots and cast it in the sea. It shall obey you. That's not my word. But only when I get in the presence of God. Oh, my Jesus. That's why he went out, stayed out all night. He wanted, he loved his father so much. He wanted to be in his presence continually because he knew what was coming. He knew there was going to be three days of separation from his father. And he wanted all he could get. And he got it. Ah, thinking about on the Mount of Transfiguration. You remember Jesus standing up there? Peter, James, and John? And his raiment had changed. A white, such a white that ain't no world that could white, would whiten it. And now it was Moses and Elias talking to him. These three disciples seen that. Got scared to death. I probably would have too. But they was telling him what he was fixing to face at, Jer at Jerusalem. And this is what's amazing about it. If you read the book of Luke, I think it is nine. And my old memory ain't there. But it says he's tarried there one more day after that. One more day after seeing all of that. Wanting to make sure he heard everything his father has got to say. Amen. But we're so quick to say a five-minute prayer and jump up and run to turn the TV on and watch Matt Dillon. I know, honey, I'm crazy. But I'm going to give it back to you. Listen, please. You got this opportunity. You do. I can't make you. My old daddy told me years ago, he said, son, you can take that horse to water, but you can't make him drink. I can tell you and show you and point you. God can do the same thing. It's up to you whether you choose to go. 
it's up to you to choose to make the way and get off your seat and start exercising that faith. Start using, like James said, I'll show you my faith by my works. God's give us faith. He's give us every tool to do his will, Amen. to work his work. Amen. Every tool that man ever needed, he's given. But it's up to man and women to use them. And I'll try to hush and get out of the way. But I thank God for what I feel. I thank God for yesterday. People, y'all don't realize what that was to me. And I thank God. Because, Steve, that's because of the wee hours of the night and the mornings. I was, I've been up talking to the master. I'm going back to what it was before. I'm going back to doing the things I used to do to got me to that altar and got me in the prison. And our prayer is right now, oh God, Lord Jesus, come, sit with me, talk with me. That's my prayer. And if he did it once, he'll do it again.